hears the flash flood potential rating for southern Utah, he should at 3.22 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. For Arches National Park, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and not expected on Tuesday. For Bryce Canyon National Park, possible for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Canyon Lands National Park, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and not expected on Tuesday. For Capitol Reef National Park, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Grand Gulch, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Natural Bridges, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For San Rafael Swell, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. For Zion National Park, not expected for the rest of today, not expected on Monday, and probable on Tuesday. Here are some 5 p.m. observations from Northern Utah. At Salt Lake City, haze and smoke were reported, the temperature was 93 degrees, the dew point was 37 with a relative humidity of 14%, the wind was west at 12 miles an hour, the pressure was 30.07 inches and falling. In Ogden, haze was reported with a temperature of 95 degrees, the wind was northwest at 9 miles an hour, the temperature was 92 degrees in Provo and the wind was northwest at 10 miles an hour. Elsewhere across the area, haze was reported with a temperature of 92 at Logan and 83 at Evanston, Wyoming. At Wendover, it was mostly sunny with a temperature of 97. And in southern Utah, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 99 at Milford, 104 at St. George, and 92 at Cedar City. High pressure will maintain dry and stable conditions Monday as regional smoke remains across the area. A more unsettled pattern is expected to develop early to midweek as moisture returns northward. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the western two-thirds of Utah and southwest Wyoming. For today and tonight, smoke from western wildfires will continue to increase across Utah today. For latest air quality information and forecast, please refer to the Utah State Deck. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. There is a potential for widespread moderate to heavy rainfall from Tuesday through Thursday across much of Utah, as well as strong to severe thunderstorms. Elevations above around 11,000 feet may even see a changeover to snow for a time Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Those near recent burn scars and near areas prone to flash flooding should monitor the forecast over the next several days. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Please relay any information about observed severe weather to the National Weather Service while following all local, state, and CDC guidelines.